This will be a demo on how to use FileZilla with PuTTY so that you can connect with an SSH key instead of with a password. Uh, so the first thing to do is to actually get PuTTY. You can Google PuTTY. Uh, you don't want to go to putty.org. You want to go to this URL. This is the actual creator of PuTTY. Um, so you're going to go there. You're then going to look for the stable download button here. You're going to go down to the 32-bit installer if you're on Windows. Once that installer downloads, just go ahead and run that with all of the default settings. I like to put a shortcut on the hard drive as well or on the desktop. It is going to pop up a security option and so we'll have to acknowledge that and allow it to install. No need to read the, the readme file. Uh, so first thing to do is to go then to your start menu and just search for putty gen. You're going to pull up the putty key generator. This is if you don't already have an SSH key. I'll do a different tutorial on that. So we're going to generate a key pair just by creating some random entropy there for the SSH key to be generated. Comment putty demo key. Now, best practice is to use a password here so that if anyone does actually get a hold of your key file, they have to still know the password because the, the key uh, will get them into anything where the key is used. Uh, so I'm going to do a password here. Now, here's the key to the key, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, we want to save a private key. Now when we save this private key, we want to put it somewhere um, It's kind of out of sight, out of mind. I put mine into a C colon temp directory. So this is going to be putty demo key. And this is the private file, so it's going to be a PPK. Now for the public key, we want to basically take this text right here. Make sure you copy it all the way down to where um, it's going to end in a comment that matches the key comment name. So from the beginning all the way to the very end, I'm going to take that. We'll just put that into a text file. I um, already made the text file here, but putty demo key. So I'm just going to take this file, open it here into Sublime, which is a text editor. You could also do this with Notepad. I'm going to paste it in and save it. And then this is the file that you'll give to whoever the administrator of the server is that you want to connect to. So that is free to share at any time. So we're done now in Putty Generator. Next thing we need to go to is Putty Agent. For, so P Agent, again, start menu, P Agent. But when you click P Agent, all it does is it opens up an agent down here in your taskbar. And there, you need to add your key. So you're going to add that private key that we talked about. Now you would use whichever one you just created. I'm using the one that I know already works. It's going to ask you that password to unlock the key. Then next, we go into FileZilla. Now, if you've not already created a site, you would click New Site to create one. In this case, I'm just going to show you the settings that matter. Uh, so first and foremost, protocol is going to be SFTP. Here, your host name is either going to be your IP address or the domain name of the server you're connecting to. The port, uh, by default, SSH is 22. This port has been changed for a little bit of obfuscation and security. Login type is going to be normal. User is the username on the server. This could be the actual account holder or it could be a, a, a custom account that was created. You're going to leave the password blank. So as long as you have pagent running and you have the key loaded, then you don't need a password. You can just hit connect and it's going to tell you a little bit about the server you're connecting to and you're in. And that's it for the demo of how to set that up.